Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. This is Aura Mask trial number two. So this time I find a scrap piece of wood and we seal it up with some Zinzer shellac. And I've watched a few YouTube videos and this seems to be what everybody uses. And it dries really quick. Once it's dry, I then put a base coat of yellow on top of this. Basically my idea was I would cut these letters out. I would have the Aura Mask on top of this, cut the letters out and then be able to paint it and then pull it off and I would have this yellow background with the colored letters. Now I thought it was dry, the yellow, but I, I don't think it cured long enough, but it was dry to the touch. I then sealed it with the shellac again and it dried pretty quick. I, I was then able to um, take some sandpaper and lightly scuff it up. Uh, I think I used 600 grit. I then applied the aura mask onto my project, got the air bubbles out. I need to get a squeegee, probably work better, but it did, it did work. Once I get all the aura mask on, it was time to go over to the drawing table. Using the dimensions of this project, I design and draw the little fresh egg sign. Um, fresh from the farm, premium quality, I then take it over to the machine, I home the machine, I do the, the XYZ axis and run the program. And I'm using a V-bit and basically this is it. This is Mach 4. I load the G-code in there and it runs the program. And here you can see it. the V-carve really works good. Um, it's really crisp and I'm really happy with that so far. So I had this piece of wood and I thought, well, it's, you, it's just as easy to make two of them as, one, as, as it is to make one. But it's all... You know, for me, this is all learning. So these videos obviously are entertainment purposes. Um, you can get a good laugh watching these videos. How I destroy things. Anyway, the the ore mask did did glue down a lot better this time with the um, the shellac. So that w did work, but it, uh, you will see my failure. Now right here, I'm going to run a profiling toolpath using a quarter inch. And I made a mistake and forgot to load the other G-code and it started cutting um, the same program except for with the wrong bit. And I had to stop that right away with the emergency button. So then I load the right G-code, which is what you see there on the screen in Mach 4, and I run that. And here it goes, and it's, this is a quarter inch end mill down cut bit, and it's running a profile pass around these around these signs to cut them out. And I did put tabs in the program, so it will um, it will run with tabs. Keeps the tabs are nice because it keeps the machine from or it keeps the your sign from flying out of there after it's uh, after it gets through the pass. So I kind of like the tabs. And right there you can see it running. It's going to make five passes to get through. The material's three quarter inch thick. Here's another look at it going around the second sign. And the aura mask you can see held it stuck really good. The next thing I do is take my Dremel tool and cut the cut the little tabs out and there they are. Next up I take it over to my router table and I use a flush bit to trim off the tabs and any remaining stuff. I then get, get it prepared to start painting it and I'm gonna do the white first. Next up, I cover up the white and I'm gonna do the red. I then decide that it'd be easier just to hand paint these um, stripes that are going around the circle, the borders, and I paint them blue. Now at this point, I think everything's going really good. It, it, you know, everything feels like it's going good. The colors are, you know, pretty vibrant and I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. Of course, I haven't peeled off the or mask yet. After I get the blue done, I start, I do the small letters red and I just use a small paintbrush and fill in the, fill in the letters. And that seemed to work pretty good actually. I really think I would have had pretty good success with this had I left the aura mask on or left the, let the yellow base coat cure longer. So in the future, that's the plan. After letting it dry, it was time to pull off the aura mask. And this is when the horror story becomes reality. As I'm pulling it off, you can see the yellow paint on the bottom of the ore mask. It's just destroying that base coat. And that's another part of the whole learning process. It did stick on there really good though. The only problem is it, it just, you can see the blue, the yellow being pulled right up. And I don't know what, I don't know if it's, leave a comment in the comments if you know if that's a bad idea to do, a, to put shellac over the base coat. I use a little pick tool to pick all the letters. Except for the yellow getting ripped off of there, I thought all the letters and stuff turned out pretty crisp. I think next time I'm gonna put a sealer on, on, the, on the letters themselves, everything that I V-carve out, 
put a sealer in there uh, first. That way it'll keep from bleeding under. There, was, there wasn't much bleed under, but there was maybe one or two spots where it bleeded. But all in all, this one was another great learning experience. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's always fun to learn new stuff. The little pick tool comes in handy and um, for getting some of those little pieces out. And there it is. Now you can see if, if it wasn't for that yellow uh, getting all peeled off, it would have probably turned out really nice. But I'm going to try to salvage it. So I'm going to um, get some yellow paint and try to touch it up. It was really, the yellow was really in bad shape. I guess you could, you could call this a rustic sign now. But I do my best to try to clean it up a little bit. And the cutting program looked good though. I, I was really happy with it. So once I figure out how to properly do these, the aura mask, I should be able to crank out a few of these for Christmas gifts. This one obviously is not good enough to give away, but I'll hang it in the shop just for fun to remind me what not to do. Thanks for watching Outlaw Woodworking. This, uh, it's a, it turned out to be a rustic sign. It's a little rough on the yellow paint job, but it, it still looks cool. And uh, it'll kind of hang there and remind me what not to do. So it was a good learning experience. And um, yeah, what I learned was make sure that your base coat is 100% cured before before trying to put the ore mask on. But each each time I each project, I learn a little bit more, and hopefully I'll do better on the next one. Anyway, the next uh, project we're going to try to do some raised text and possibly a 3D carving. Anyway, thank you very much again for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.